Hello, I'm Peter Robert from AC Delco. Today Rick is going to demonstrate checking the fluid level on some hydromatic six-speed transmissions. The fluid temperature is very important when checking the level. Let's have a look. Begin the 6T7075 transmission fluid checking procedure with the vehicle on a level surface. Apply the parking brake and place the shift lever into park. The procedure for all transmissions in this video requires the engine to be started and the transmission to be shifted. To prevent potential damage, the transmission must contain a minimum amount of fluid with the fluid temperature between 68 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. There must be enough fluid to wet the end of the dipstick or to drain out of the fluid level hole when the engine is off. With the vehicle on a level surface and the parking brake applied, start the engine. Depress the brake pedal and move the shift lever through each gear range. Pause for three seconds in each range. Then place the shift lever into park. Allow the engine to idle between 500 and 800 RPM for at least one minute before releasing the brake pedal. With the engine running, observe the transmission fluid temperature with the scan tool or if equipped, the vehicle's Driver Information Center, or DIC. Fluid temperature must be between 82 and 93 degrees Celsius, or between 180 and 200 degrees Fahrenheit, in order to get an accurate level. With the engine still running, remove the dipstick. Before wiping it clean, inspect the color of the fluid. Install the dipstick and tighten. Wait three seconds, and then remove it again. Check both sides of the dipstick and read the lower level. Install the dipstick and check the reading again. Always check the fluid level at least twice. Consistent readings are important to maintaining a proper fluid level. If the readings are inconsistent, inspect the transmission vent assembly to ensure that it is clean and not clogged. It is not necessary to top off the fluid to reach the dipstick's max mark anywhere within the cross-hatched area is acceptable. If the fluid level is not within the cross-hatched band and the transmission temperature is in the correct range, add or drain enough fluid to bring the level to specification. When the fluid level is in an acceptable range, install the dipstick. Since the 6T40 is not equipped with a dipstick, Fluid level is checked using an oil level check hole. The vehicle has to be lifted to access the oil level check hole. Start the engine in park on a level surface with the parking brake applied. Apply the brake pedal and shift through every gear range. Stay in each range for about three seconds. Return the shifter to park. Let the engine idle between 500 and 800 RPM for at least three minutes before checking the transmission fluid temperature using the scan tool or the DIC. With the engine running, observe the transmission fluid temperature with the scan tool or, if equipped, the vehicle's DIC. Fluid temperature must be between 85 and 95 degrees Celsius or between 185 and 203 degrees Fahrenheit in order to get an accurate level. Once the fluid temperature is in range, lift the vehicle while it is idling in park. Be sure to keep it level. The engine must be running when the plug is removed or excessive fluid loss will occur. Be prepared to catch any fluid before removing the oil level check plug. If the fluid flows out, let it drain until it is no longer a steady stream before replacing the plug. If no fluid comes out when the plug is removed, add fluid until it starts to run out of the hole before replacing the plug. Tighten the oil level check plug to specifications. Some vehicle models equipped with the 6L80 have a dipstick, some do not. This video will cover the fluid checking and filling procedures on vehicles without a dipstick. If the 6L80 you are servicing has a dipstick, the procedure is similar to the 6T7075 procedure shown earlier, but be sure to check service information for the transmission being serviced 
to get the exact specifications and procedures. The fluid temperature range for the 6L80 is significantly different than the 6T70-75 range. To get an accurate 6L80 fluid level reading, the transmission fluid temperature must be between 30 and 50 degrees Celsius or between 86 and 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Be sure to continuously check the temperature through the procedure to make sure it hasn't moved out of specification. If the transmission temperature is within the specified values, begin the fluid checking procedure by starting the engine and allowing it to idle. Depress the brake pedal and shift through each gear, pausing for three seconds in each range. Place the transmission into park and ensure the engine is idling between 500 and 800 RPM. Let the engine idle for at least one minute. With the engine running, raise the vehicle, keeping it level. The engine must be running when the oil level check plug is removed or excessive fluid loss will occur. Be prepared to catch any fluid before removing the oil level check plug. If the fluid flows out, let it drain until it is no longer a steady stream before replacing the plug. Thanks, Rick. Well, it looks like there are temperature differences from one transmission to the next. So remember, check the specifications for the transmission you are working on to get the correct level for your customer.